Hello, Todd Butterfield from WyckoffSMI.com, LearnCrypto.io. Wanted to do some videos here to help subscribers understand and best use our indicators at uh, TradingView. And uh, this uh, video is going to be about the Wyckoff Optimism Pessimism Index. And you can see here we have Ethereum in front of us, so we do have a crypto chart. So the uh, Wyckoff Optimism Pessimism is an intraday uh, indicator keeping track of intraday volume. So you want to make sure when you're doing this, you go to settings and it's going to be default where it's going to be aggregate and five minutes. So we want five minute intraday readings and aggregate is for crypto because we're bringing information in from up to 40 inputs, meaning different exchanges and different stable coins like Ethereum, USDT, Binance, or Ethereum USD Coinbase. So we're really bringing in majority of volume that's being traded on these markets, which is giving us these divergences that we show in green and red. So again, what they're showing is big volume on the sell side coming into Ethereum while price held higher. Same thing here, selling coming in over the course of like three weeks, price in a triangle. As we go to new highs on the ETF being okay, no plus volume came in. That was a bearish divergence as marked in red. And here, new lows in the OP while price is holding once again, which is bullish for a rally. So again, this is just about the Wyckoff optimism pessimism indicator. Make sure when you click settings, you have it on aggregate and five minutes. Now, if you're bringing up a stock like IBM, you can leave it at aggregate because it'll know that uh, it is a stock, so it automatically will give you the exchange. But also what happens here is if you bring up a uh, coin that might have an issue, let's bring into, let's say, uh, let's go down here to, uh, I think one of them maybe it was INJ. It's on standard now, so it'll bring in when it's standard, it's INJ Tether USDT Binance. So if it's on standard, that means it's going to give you the data based on the exchange symbol that you've asked about. And then if we change this once again to aggregate, it's going to go and grab the indicator from all the exchanges. And that will change the data. So again, like if we go to Juno, Juno is not on many exchanges. So you're going to see everything flatline. So if you go back in here, go back to standard, which means it's going to bring, bring the information in. Juno, US dollar, Kraken. So just make sure you understand that. But majority of the time, you're going to be able to be an aggregate five minute, which is the default reading. And that way, when you bring up, let's say, a Bitcoin, Tether Binance, it's consolidating all the volume from the 40 inputs. That's all for now. Thank you.